Hey guys, welcome to an, another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. We are going to take a quick little look at inrush current or, or measuring start amps um, on our compressor. What our start amperage is going to tell us is how hard that compressor is working at startup or how much of an amp draw that compressor takes at the startup. As we all know that startup can be um, the time when a lot of our components fail. So we want to measure our starting amperage or our inrush current to be able to talk to the homeowner about the possibilities of maybe it's time to replace the compressor, maybe we need to add a hard start kit or a compressor saver as there sometime calls, but all of that information we can gather off of the start amp. So all we're going to do is locate our wire, come go into our compressor, um, we're going to set the, the maximum on our meter there and then we're going to start it up. So as you can see, upon startup, we pull 66 amps there on our uh, starting. So our inrush current or our starting amps were 66. Now if we take that off and just have a regular amperage, we'll reset everything, take that off. See that our compressor is running at about 5.9. But remember, on our max setting, when we, when we calculated our max there, we were at 66 for that. So, what do we do with that information? I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you some stuff that's on the data tag there, and then we're going to look at that how that information relates to our conversation. All right, so if you remember earlier, we looked at our compressor, and the starting amperage on our compressor was 66 amps. Now, on our data tag, there is some information related to the compressor in particular. If you look right there, you'll see um, the compressor. Um, you'll see the RLA or the RLA and your LRA, your, your locked rotor amperage. If we look at that locked rotor amperage number, it's 82. 66 is really close to 82. And also, if we take that RLA 16 and you multiply that there's a bunch of rules of thumb out in the field we kind of stay away from the rules of thumb here but you could comment below about what you do with that RLA number to determine um, I've heard people say two times the RLA or three times the RLA um, kind of lets you know that you would need a hard start kit nonetheless the sure thing is if we look at our lock rotor amp number at 82 and our actual um, inrush current or our, our starting amps was 66. Those two numbers are really close together. We're not talking about that much of a difference. I can tell the homeowner that installing a hard start kit on this particular compressor would help preserve and prolong the life of the compressor on startup. It doesn't mean that the compressor will never fail. It just means that we can put a, a hard start kit on there and kind of help this compressor out as long as we can but the ultimate thing to do would to be to upgrade to a system that's, that, that starts much lower, is not having as much trouble starting up, and things of that nature. But there's a way that you can look, take, take a measure of your, your inrush current, your starting amps, compare that to the information located on your data tag, and then have a conversation with your homeowner that allows them to make an informed decision based on accurate information that you've collected. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. We'll talk to you next time.